Hello there teachers, Steve Will here. I am going to take you through the process of changing the settings on your iPad so it's not a bandwidth hog. So there's a few things we're going to turn off. We're going to start with the Bluetooth. So this is under on the bottom of your screen. You're going to swipe up and your Bluetooth is located right there in the middle. And it's, if it's on, it's white. So I'm going to tap it and turn that off. That's going to help you save some battery life so it's not constantly looking for Bluetooth. The okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to go over to the settings menu. So I'm going to tap settings. And we're just going to go down the line here. We're going to start with the general tab here. And we're going to slide up to the app background refresh right in the center of the screen. We're going to tap that. And yours is most likely on. So it's green is on. So we're going to tap that to turn it off. And that's going to keep apps that aren't being used from running in the background and pulling bandwidth. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is go down to the iCloud menu right here. And we're going to scroll to the bottom. And where it says backup here, we're going to make sure that's turned off. So if yours is green, we're going to make sure it's off. So if it's green like that, we're going to turn it off. OK. Then we're going to go to the App Store, which is the next menu on the left here. And we are going to turn off the automatic downloads for updates. So you notice mine are all already off. And then also, if you want, you can also turn off the suggested app for the App Store. And that will keep from pulling suggestions constantly. OK. So then the last thing we're going to do is, if you're using the Chrome web browser, we're going to turn that uh, bandwidth saver feature on. So if you turn on the Chrome web, web browser, it looks like this. And I'm going to go over to the right-hand corner, those three dots. Those are my, that's my menu. And I'm going to go to settings. And under the settings, I am going to go down here to where it says bandwidth. And see where it says reduce data usage. I'm going to click that and turn that on. So now I have data savings. Okay. And that's it for now. So if you could do that on all the iPads in your carts, that could really help us with some of our bandwidth problems. And if you have any questions or need help, you can just contact KRI and we'd be more than happy to do that for you. All right. Talk to you later.